Finishing Dens Armor Plus is very similar to traditional drywall. You begin by covering the joint with a thin, light coat of joint compound, which is called mud. Next, the joint is covered with tape. The tape is pressed into the mud with a drywall knife. Okay, actually there are two types of tape you can use with Dens Armor Plus. You can use standard paper tape, or you can use fiberglass mesh tape. The advantage of fiberglass mesh tape is that it goes on easier. You're also creating a totally inorganic wall. There's no food source for mold. The disadvantage of fiberglass tape is that you can't use joint compound to embed that tape. You have to use setting compound. That's the advantage of paper tape. You only need one type of compound, joint compound. And if you're a drywall applicator, only paper tape works in the automatic tools like the bazooka. Once the tape is embedded, it's covered with more compound. The key here is to keep the layer of mud as thin as possible, but still completely cover the tape. The mud is smoothed out so it tapers nicely into the board, forming a covering that's about 5 inches wide. Along with the joint, be sure to cover the screw heads with compound too. Once the tape is embedded and the first layer is smoothed out, just walk away and let it dry for about 24 hours. After the first layer is dry, another layer of compound is applied. Like the first coat, it's a very thin layer. Only this time, it's about 10 inches wide, and it's applied with a much wider knife. Again, the compound has to dry for 24 hours. Just like traditional drywall, when the second layer is dry, the joint has to be sanded. The object is to smooth the surface of the compound and taper it to blend into the board. Be sure to wear a dust mask and eye protection whenever you're sanding. And don't forget the fasteners. Now for our level 4 finish, it's time to apply the final coat of compound. This layer is about 2 inches wider than the previous layer. Again, it's applied as thin as possible with feathered edges that blend into the board. The goal of building up these three layers is to slowly taper the joint and create a seamless flat wall. That's why sanding is such an important step. You have to be careful not to leave any gouges in the joint. After a final sanding, the wall is ready to prepare for painting. The first step is to remove all the dust from sanding. Preparation for painting is a little different from traditional drywall. In fact, this is the second difference between Dens Armor Plus and Paper Face Drywall. And it all has to do with the primer. It's very important to use a quality, high-build drywall primer. It must have at least 40% solids content by volume. When it's applied following the manufacturer's recommendations, it will offer good results. It's also important to know that low quality primers won't offer good results with Dens Armor Plus. They won't build a sufficient coat to equalize the surface like a quality high build primer will. It's also a good idea to do a test wall or a mock-up just to be sure. Once the primer dries, the new wall is ready for paint. Like any decorative finish, be sure to follow the paint manufacturer's recommendations. Using a flat top coat will help hide imperfections and avoid joint flashing. The Gypsum Association also emphasizes this point about painting. Always skim coat the wall when you're using either gloss or semi-gloss paints in critical light areas. And with the wall primed, it's ready for that decorative finish of paint, paper, or vinyl.